Okay, so today we're going to need some red yarn. I have my red yarn, it's Red Heart Super Saver, the one pound. Then I have my five millimeter crochet hook and some scissors and my yarning needle is off to the side. Also have the pattern here, which you really don't need the pattern, just follow along. First thing we're gonna do is make our slip knot. So all you're gonna do is wrap your yarn around your finger twice and hold the tail end. Yarn over to the front with the back and then take the back off of your finger pulling the tail tight and there's your slip knot okay so we're just going to chain up 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 29 and 30 okay so here's our 30 okay now the first thing we're going to do is second chain from the hook. Remember this one never counts as one, so you have one, two. I'm going to go ahead and insert your hook into there, yarn over the hook and pull through. You have two loops. You're going to yarn over, grab that string and pull through for a single crochet. And we're going to single crochet three rows like this. So you're just going to go down all the way, making sure you have 29 stitches at the end of this row. That's very important. And then you're going to chain up one, turn your work, and single crochet all the way back again. And you're going to do that for three rows. So this row plus two more. So go ahead and finish that up. And I will meet you back here when I have the third row done. I just finished my third row. And here's what we have so far. And it will curve and curl up and stuff like that. And that's perfectly fine. Um, we will spray this down with water bottle later. And it'll, it'll stay flat no big deal so we're just gonna go ahead and turn our work and chain up one like we do after every round and now this row we are going to do our bobbles we're going to introduce those now so we're going to need before we start the bobble we're going to need 11 single crochets so one two three four five, six, seven, and 11. Okay, so now we're gonna do our bobble stitching. And to do that, this stitch will be the bobble and then the stitch after will be a single crochet. And that happens with every bobble stitch you make. So we need four bobbles. So we're gonna yarn over Excuse me. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through two, like a double crochet. Now stop here and leave those on your hook. Now do it again. We want six loops on our hook. So here is four, five, and six. So now we're just gonna yarn over and pull through every one of those. Okay, and remember what I said, the next stitch will be a single crochet, and that's gonna lock that into place. And there it is. There's your bobble. I need to do that with a single crochet four more times. So here we go. Or three more times, my bad, I'm so sorry. Three times. There's five, six, and yarn over and pull through. So I really hope you guys like this bobble stitch series that I have been doing. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up so I know you like these and you wanna see more. Then you can comment below of what type of bobble stitch you want me to try to do next because I make my own patterns. And there's six and pull through. And then we need 11 single crochets including the one after the bobble. So here's one two, three, four, and 11. Great. Okay, so after every row that you do a bobble, obviously you're gonna turn your work, and we're gonna chain up one. And that's what it looks like now. But after every bobble stitch row, you're going to go in and put one single crochet row right afterwards. So this entire row should be single crocheted. 
Okay, so I just finished that single crochet row. Just gonna turn our work and chain up one. Now we're gonna go with 11 or nine single crochets instead of 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're only gonna do one bobble stitch. Just remember how to do that. Once you like do a couple of these, it gets pretty easy. So definitely go check out my other videos. I will have those linked down below. That would be pattern one through seven, as this is pattern eight. Then we're gonna need nine bobbles in between the next bobble. One, or nine single crochets in between. Two, three, sorry, and nine. And now we're gonna put that bobble stitch here into the next stitch. And you will go through a, a lot of yarn, so that's why I'm making sure to use a brand new one and having to pull it often because it gets stuck. There's five, one more, and six. Okay, then we need to just finish off with nine. One, two, and nine. Okay, and this is what it should look like so far. So just go ahead and chain your one and do your single crochet row. And again, you should have 29 stitches at the end of that round. And I will meet you back here when I have that done. So I just finished that row. And now we are going on, remember to turn your work, chain up one, and let's start. So we're going to need seven single crochets. And this pattern will work up very, very fast because it is Basically all single crochets and a couple bobbles here and there. I need to pull more yarn out of my new ball. <laughs> so it was three, four, five, six, and seven. So then we're just gonna put one bobble. Pretty simple, right? And there's six and then 13 single crochets in between one two three 13 and now put our bobble stitch into the next stitch okay and then we should finish off with seven single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, and seven. Turn our work <laughs> and chain up one. Okay. And that's what it should look like now. It should be starting to form Mickey's head, which is what you're doing with the circle here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my single crochet round and I will meet you back here when that is done. So we're gonna turn our work. Chain one. And now we need six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six <laughs> and then we're gonna put our bobble st into the next stitch okay and then we need 15 single crochets one two three, four, 14, and 15. And then we're gonna put a bobble. Don't mind my dog, she's sleeping right below me. 
She's actually walking over here. There she goes. Right over there. <laughs> then you should have six left for single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? So just go ahead and turn your work, chain your one, and do the single crochet row. Okay, so we're going to repeat this row and the single crochet row three more times. So if you look, we are right here. We just did this row. We did these two. So now we're going to do one, two, three, four, five rows. So there's going to be the bobble row the same way we did this one. See, it's the same exact thing for the next three rows. So the next three rows, not including the bob the single crochet row, are going to be the same bobble stitch row, if that makes any sense. I hope it does, because remember, do one row bobble, we do a single crochet after. So obviously we know we're going to put that in. So the next three bobble rows are the exact same. So, um, it's, I mean, it's pretty easy. You already did this one with me, so just if you need to go back, just go back in the video um, a minute and a half and you can see how to do the next three rows. But I'm going to do those off camera. Okay, and see, I just finished that. So see, there's four rows there, exactly identical, like I was saying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn our work and chain up one and start the next bobble stitch. And this looks like it's going to be the ears. So we're going to go ahead and do three single crochets. One, two, three. And then we're going to put three bobble stitches. Remember, there's a single crochet in between them. Four, five. Don't mind that, it's trying to poke you in the eye. Six. Okay, so single crochet or not. And another bobble. I have to pull more yarn. It's really becoming a pain in the mutt, the butt. Okay, another single crochet. And then the last bobble with a single crochet. Okay, and then we need 13 single crochets in between and that includes the one after the bobble. So here's one two, three, 13. And now we're just gonna repeat what we did in the beginning. The one bobble, single crochet, another bobble, single crochet, another bobble, and then finish off with three single crochets. I will also um, erase everything on my pattern and I'll scan this pattern in with the numbers on it and all that so that you can have that pattern. I didn't do that for my other patterns. So if you want me to do that, I can definitely do that. Or if you don't think it's necessary, just let me know either way. Just let me know in the comments below. And I don't mind scanning my patterns in. And now we have our last three, see? It worked out just perfect. And like I said, this is starting the ear. So we're gonna turn our work. <laughs> Isn't that like cool? I like it. And we're gonna chain up one, the side. This pain in the butt. And just do your single crochet row straight across. Um, and I'll meet you back here when we have that finished. So I turn my work. Now I'm just gonna chain up my one. And we need two single crochets, so one, two, this yarn is such a pain in the butt. And then we're going to put a bobble into the next stitch. Sorry, I keep getting emails. Don't even know who they're from. Probably the realtor. Then we 
need to put six single crochets. So one, two, and six, and then a bobble stitch. One and a two. There's four, five, and six. Then we need nine single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and nine. And we're going to repeat what we did on the other side. We're going to put one bobble stitch, followed by six single crochets, and then one more bobble. And you should end with two single crochets. There's four. So six in between, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we should put one more bobble stitch here. And end with two single crochets. One and two. Turn our Mickey Mouse. And that's what it looks like. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. <laughs> okay, so chain up your one and go ahead and do your single crochet row. And I'll meet you back when we're done. Okay, now we need one single crochet. I turned my work and chained my one. So we're going to do one single crochet followed by more yarn. <laughs> ah. Follow by one bobble stitch into the next stitch. And then we need nine single crochets so one two three four five six seven <laughs> eight and nine okay then we're going to put another bobble. Actually, we're going to put four. Ready? Watch this. We have one, two, three, four, five. So here's one bobble stitch. Now I need to do three more of those with the single crochets in between. There's two, three, one more. Okay, then we need, then we need nine single crochets, so we're repeating the, what we did before. One, two, three, and nine, and one bobble at the end, and then we finish with one single crochet. Now, we're going to do our, um, turn our work, chain up one, and do the single crochet row, and then you're going to repeat this exact row one more time. Well, never mind, I lied. <laughs> okay, so turn your work. Oh my goodness, look at that. Doesn't that looks so cool? Chain one, and let's complete our single crochet round. Okay, so we're going to turn our work, chain one, 
and put one single crochet followed by one bobble. Okay, followed by nine single crochets. One, two, three, and nine. Then we're going to put one bobble. Followed by five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Again, another bobble stitch. And then we're gonna repeat what we did in the beginning. We're gonna go nine single crochets, followed by one bobble stitch, and then one single crochet at the end. The last one is a single crochet. Okay, look at that. Chain one, do your single crochet round, and I'll meet you back here. We have two more bobble stitch rounds, and that is it. Now I'll meet you back here when I have this, this row done. Okay, so we're gonna turn our work and chain one. We're gonna do two single crochets. My dog, I swear. And then a bobble. Three, four, five, that makes six. And then we need seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one bobble. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's one too many. My bad, just kidding. Two, that was seven, not six. And then we need seven single crochets. So one, two, three, six, and seven. And one bobble. One, two, three, four, and five, make six, and then seven again, so seven single crochets followed by one bobble and two single crochets after that. So one, two, three, seven, one, and two, and three, and five. Two single one and two. All right, let's turn our work. <laughs> it's looking so neat. Go ahead and do your single crochet round, and and then I will meet you back here for the last bobble round. Okay, so turn our work. <laughs> Chain one. Four single crochets to start this round. Two, three, and four. Pulling more yarn, always pulling more yarn. It's ridiculous. This ball sucks. And then we're gonna do three bobbles. This is different. This is closing off Mickey's ear. So one. So here's one bobble, followed by a single crochet. Remember, you always have to put a single crochet in after. One, two, three. 
Okay, that was the last bobble. Now we need to put 11 single crochets and then repeat what we just did. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now we're going to do the three bobbles, remember? So, here we go. Please ignore my dog. I don't know why she's being so boisterous today. Let's show you her in a second. I think she wants her food. There's two. Last one. And then you should have four stitches left for four single crochets. So I do. So one, two, three, and four. All right, so the next four rows, that's correct, four rows are all just gonna be, look at that in the cute, all gonna be chain one and single crochet across. So I will meet you back here when I finish my fourth row. I just got to end of that round and in this stitch where we left off at, where we, we finish, we're gonna put another single crochet, so two single crochets. That's going to allow us to turn our work for the border. And now we're just gonna single crochet all the way down, okay? I mean, it's that simple. In every corner you're gonna put two, and then you're just gonna single crochet around. I'm gonna make sure that you're hitting every so there's a stitch here, and then there's a stitch here. I'm gonna be sure you're getting them both. And also make sure when you do the opposite side that you're crocheting the exact same stitches as you did the other side, otherwise it's gonna be uneven. And you don't want, after all this hard work, it to be uneven and look weird. Okay, and I'm coming up to the corner here. And here's my corner right here. I'm gonna go into that stitch and put my two single crochets. Okay, and then I'm gonna work all the way back this way. This is the bottom of your, your project. So you're working the opposite stitch of where you, you did your chain. You're working in that chain foundation again. Okay, so I'm in the corner stitch now. We're going to put our two single crochets and then working back this way. Okay, and then you're going to work your single crochets in the top and then slip stitch into this single crochet and I'll meet you back when I have that done. So I'm coming back over to the end here and I'm just going to slip stitch into that, la that first single crochet to end that. And then cut my yarn, oh, look, I double cut, and chain up one, pull through, and tighten that knot down, and I'll weave that in later, but this is the final project here, my Mickey Mouse ear is here, doesn't that look cool, I told you you wouldn't have to worry about the sides, they'll fix themselves, and again, if you want me to um, upload this pattern, and to put it on my blog page with this post, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll get that up as soon as possible if it's requested. Um, if not, cool beans. It doesn't bother me either way. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern and I hope you guys stick around for more bobble stitch patterns. I have a lot more of these coming up before we can finish off that blanket. This is just pattern number eight. 
And again, I will have patterns one through seven linked down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out with all my other um, social medias and other links that I'm leaving down below for you. And if you like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up so that I know and I can continue to keep doing them because um, I don't want to make something or put videos up that's boring and nobody likes them. So, and be sure to hit that subscribe button because, I mean, why not? If you want to see more of them, you got to subscribe to keep watching. And until next time, guys, I'll see you. Bye.